Yeah, as you can see in this video taken by one of the protesters on the scene, the truck had to drive into that crowd, uh, blocking the entrance to a parking lot soon after several protesters were hit with pepper spray. And we have a lot of unanswered questions this morning about how this all unfolded and if anybody was hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt is live this morning on the scene now with the very latest overnight developments. Yeah, Patrick Danielle, good morning. Before things got a little chaotic there, for the most part, it was a peaceful protest. As you were mentioning, people were lined shoulder to shoulder, blocking entrances to not only parking lots, but the detention center itself. And that's when things got a little hectic. But before then, I want to show you this video of what it looked like at around 7 o'clock. Hundreds of people showing up here to take part in this protest. And we understand it was a part of a protest and an agreement between Wyatt and ICE. The prison has received months of scrutiny for their part in housing ICE detainees as they await trial. At last check, the prison had more than 130 federal immigration detainees in house. Many of the protesters say they came prepared to be arrested, but what they didn't see coming was that truck that drove into part of the group and then what happened after. You can hear the screams people sent running from that entrance. Protesters from the Alliance to Mobilize Our Resistance and the Fang Collective claim it was correctional officers who sprayed them. The group had been asked to move away from the truck, that pepper spray covering both law enforcement and protesters, one of them telling us he was blinded for a time. Some of us were just standing at the side supporting what was going on and um, trying to prevent the truck from leaving the scene after they had uh, really assaulted with their vehicle these people. And then several officers showed up and told everybody to back up and then before anybody had a chance to move, they sprayed pepper spray indiscriminately at a whole crowd of people. Bringing you back out live, you're seeing where exactly that truck was parked uh, when it was running into that group of people where the protesters were lined. It's worth mentioning we have reached out to Wyatt Detention Facility multiple times this morning for a comment. We have not heard back. The same goes for the police department here in the city of Central Falls. So far, no response. We, of course, are staying on this throughout the day and will bring you the latest as we learn more. Live in Central Falls, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.